morning from the beautiful state of Florida. <laughs> you want to run the intro, brother? <laughs> you know I don't like intros. All right, let's do an intro that was, that was it. Now do an intro with me. Well, good afternoon from the sunny state of Florida. It's my bachelor party, if you guys didn't figure it out. I got kidnapped, uh, told I was going to Gary, Indiana, and here we are in Miami. This doesn't look like Gary, Indiana. This is not Gary, Indiana. We're gonna go do a half day uh, of kite fishing and bottom fishing out on the reef. No ice fishing. Today. No ice fishing. Stick around, it's gonna be a good day. So for an explanation of what we're doing here, this is a four hour trip in the afternoon uh, on a boat called the Spellbound uh, out of Miami Beach. We're going out a few miles to the drop where it gets about 130, 140 feet of water, and we're going to be kite fishing. I actually have another video uh, from our time in Almorada where Maddie and I did some, some kite fishing on the Relentless. Um, here we're just going for kingfish, sailfish, uh, tuna, whatever can kind of swim by, but um, you'll see Captain Brian is, is bridle rigging bar jacks and herring, and kite fishing, to summarize simply, is Kites go up in the air. Uh, along the kite line are some release clips where you put the line in and then the bait goes straight down to the water. So it keeps a lot of the tackle up out and clean and it keeps the bait up on the surface for predator fish to come by. Um, we had about 30 minutes left in the charter and the near bait gets knocked down and starts swimming towards the boat. Uh, and I grabbed the rod and as you'll see in a second, we were on.
So I wanted to explain why we ended up killing this sailfish. Uh, the fight itself was probably 35 to 40 minutes, even though I didn't show all that. It would have been really boring. Um, it was really rough that day and windy. It took us a while to get all the other lines in. And by the time we were chasing him, you know, he'd run out six, seven hundred yards of line. It was pretty, pretty amazing how far he actually got away from the boat so fast. So after the fight, we swam him for a little while, uh, and he just wasn't wasn't really recovering. Uh, for anybody that fishes for big billfish, you know, you got to swim him. You got to get the lactic acid out of their system, um, and he just wasn't coming back. So we, we ended up bringing him on board. He was well over the legal limit. Um, I've heard it that doesn't know. If we'd have released this fish, he would have just sunk to the bottom. He was pretty much going to die uh, anyways, or sharks would have gotten him. So we kept him. Uh, there was over 10 of us, so we, we wound up taking about a third of the fish and making tacos. Um, for the recipe, we just covered it in Cajun seasoning and then grilled it really low and slow and basted it with butter and lemon, and it was fantastic. Uh, the rest of the fish is going to go to the smoker to make fish dip for the crew. So, uh, like I said, hopefully I don't catch too much heat uh, for, for killing a big billfish like this, but he pretty much would have died anyways. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we're switching over to striper fishing here up in the northeast. Ice fishing's over, so keep an eye out for those videos. And uh, I may actually sneak offshore to do a little haddock fishing. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you out there. That was it. <laughs> <laughs>